Hi everyone, welcome to CBC Dad. And for today's video, as you can see here, uh, we're gonna be talking about baby bottles. Um, and I just want to share uh, our experience that we've had with Noctis using the different type of, types of baby bottles that we've tried. We've used nine uh, different types of bottles in total, uh, although there are 10 here, uh, two are the same from the same brand. Um, but yeah, um, of course, because baby bottles are a really personal kind of experience, uh, I just remind everybody of EBITDA, which is every baby is totally different anyways. So um, what might have worked for us or has worked for Noctis may not be the same uh, for your baby. Um, and then with that, we'll, let's get right into it. Before I go into the actual bottles, let me go over a bit of Noctis' feed routine, just so it gives you a bit of perspective of um, and some background information on how he's feeding or, and how we're using the bottles. He's three months now, or just a little over three months. Currently, he feeds around 120 to 150, 150 ml per feed and around five times a day. We first bottle fed Noctis when he was two days old, and he's basically been uh, exclusively bottle feeding since he was around two weeks old. Um, even though he is feeding through bottles, we're doing uh, what they call eeping or exclusively pumping. Um, so we are actually using breast milk, um, even though uh, we are uh, bottle feeding. Um, so if you are using formula, the process might be a little bit different for you. This is especially true if you're using something like powdered formula. Uh, a bottle with a wider mouth might be more important for you uh, because it'll be more convenient and easier to pour the formula in uh, without spilling it everywhere. For sterilizing and drying, we use the Yupeng Mini Dryer and Sterilizer. It's been really easy to use. It's got an automatic function which basically does a low heat dry and then follows it up with a UV sterilization uh, and then it ventilates the whole thing so that there's no mold or anything. So it's been really easy and really good to use. Um, and it's uh, definitely really essential if you're playing on uh, exclusively bottle feeding. In terms of the baby brush that we use for cleaning the bottles, we use the Dr. Beta uh, brush. It came in a set for the bottles and uh, a bottle brush and a nipple brush. Um, and the reason uh, I'll get into it later, you'll see. Uh, we knew that it was it was basically a requirement because we use the Dr. Beta bottles, which kind of require a more unique brush. For actually heating up the milk, we usually pour the milk into a bottle, and then we'll run the bottle under the tap a bit uh, until the water gets hot, and then we'll basically fill a cup with uh, hot water, and then we put the bottle into that cup. Even though this process is not super quick, uh, it's still acceptable uh, to us. So we don't actually have any uh, special machine uh, just for heating baby milk. And you might also ask, why did we actually decide to use so many different bottles? It's because uh, a lot of moms say that you, you never want to really buy a bottle set because you don't know if your uh, baby will like that type of bottle. And if you buy a bottle set before they even try that bottle, then you'll be wasting a lot of money. So what we did is go the complete opposite route of buying a baby bottle set. And we just bought one from um, a number of different brands. And they were like, well, he's going to probably like some of these, right? Um, so that's what we decided to do. Um, and with that, we can actually give a review for you guys. So let's get started. The first bottle that we're going to talk about is Dr. Brown's Baby Bottle. Um, this is probably one of the uh, most uh, popular or most common brands that you'll see in North America. Um, they're really recognizable because they have this really unique, uh, strong anti-colic device. Um, and for us, we actually only use this bottle for uh, one month uh, when feeding Noctis, uh, the first month of feeding Noctis. And honestly, we actually don't really have much complaints about this bottle. Uh, when we fed to him, he liked the bottle fine. He liked the nipple fine. Uh, this one is plastic um, and it heats up milk pretty, pretty well, pretty good. Um, and that's what I find. The biggest determination of whether a bottle is really good at heating up milk really is the, the constructor materials. Say for example, glass is a really good material for heating up milk um, because it uh, it absorbs and disperses heat really well. Whereas something like silicon or maybe plastic is not as good at doing that. Um, but yeah, like I said, this one this one was plastic. This one was really good. Um, and but the reason that we only use it for a month 
is because we found cleaning of uh, this part um, just bothersome because we we are exclusively using bottles so it's a lot of work to clean and we're hand cleaning them we're not using a wash a dishwasher or anything like that um, and I don't have any straw or any really good clean device to clean the insides of this so after a while I felt like I wasn't sure if this insides was getting clean properly even though we were still putting this into the sterilizer so that's probably the reason why we ended up uh, not using this bottle but otherwise i think it's actually a really solid bottle all around so if you can get around the cleaning <laughs> of it uh or if you're using it just putting it in dishwasher then maybe this would be a really good bottle for you so the next brand of baby bottles i want to talk about is hejin Hejin is a Singapore brand that's gotten really, really popular in Asia in the past few years. Um, and you can really recognize their bottles very easily because they're uh, square shaped. You don't really see squ uh, many squ square shaped. I mean, this is the only brand of square shaped bottles I've seen. Um, and even the top is really unique. And because it's square, the, the locking mechanism of the cap is really unique in that uh, it's just a twist. Um, instead of uh, a screw top, uh, like most bottles you would see. Um, and then putting it is just a friction lock, a friction lock they say. So you just push it down and then it, you're good to go. Um, and as you can see, the material for this, you see it's pretty yellow, is, um, is a, P a material called PPSU. It's actually pretty common in Asian countries. Uh, where a lot of people use UV sterilizers um, and for higher quality, a uh, higher quality or more premium brand of bottles, PPSU is the uh, more preferred method over normal plastic because it's more durable. durable. Uh, it can withstand the effects of being sanitized uh, constantly um, and it's just, uh, it's just a better material overall than your standard um, normal plastic. Because if you constantly um, put these in um, in uh, boiling water or in a UV machine, these will actually turn yellow and they'll just become, the material will not disintegrate, but like decompose or like it'll just wear over time. Um, yeah. So the reason they say that they went with a square shape is because it's easier for babies to hold uh, compared to a cylindrical shape. Um, and also because if it's on the table, it doesn't roll away as easy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, we found this ball pay to be pretty good. This is actually one of our most used bottles. Um, the only issue uh, uh, Yvonne finds with it is that sometimes she thinks that it's hard to close. Um, she says that sometimes maybe you'll, ha you'll do that if you don't press it properly. Um, I haven't found that issue uh, to be an issue for myself. But uh, what I do, what I have noticed is that if my hands are wet, especially if I'm cleaning, because I'm usually the one that cleans the bottles, um, it can be hard to twist this off. Um, but it's not really a major problem. Um, but yeah, so overall it's been pretty good, pretty good to heat up the milk. Um, and uh, Noctis has liked it as well, despite the shape being so different and so unique. Uh, I thought that he wouldn't like it or he wouldn't take this ball very well or didn't this nipple really well just because uh, the shape is so different but he seems to, seems to do fine with it so uh, that's something to know. Uh, no. um, oh also one thing that's really great about these balls um, is that um, once you're done or once your baby is no longer bottle feeding or no longer using these smaller bottles um, and he's up, he, he or she has upgraded to the bigger ones well, uh, they actually sell lids that uh, that uh, transform these into just like snack bins or storage containers. So you can actually reuse them um, for uh, for a different purpose once uh, your baby is past the feed bottle feeding phase, which is great. Which is really great. Good. The next bottle we'll talk about is the Tommy TP. Um, we actually got this bottle uh, a month and a half ago. So it's actually one of the last bottles that we got of all these bottles. Um, and th the reason I got this was it actually came free, I think, from a friend of ours. 
Uh, they just they said they didn't use it, so they said, "Oh, if you want to try it out, go ahead." So I'm like, "Sure, yeah, it'll be fine." Um, and in terms of how this ball went for us, is not good. <laughs> Actually, I can't really say because Noctis wouldn't take this bottle. Um, he we tried using it twice to, uh, with him, and both times he wouldn't take the ball at all. So I can't say whether it's good or bad. I can just say that Noctis would not take this bottle. Not sure if it's because we introduced it to him late, although we did introduce another bot at the same time and he did take that one, um, but this one he did not take. So um, I can't really give um, any review on this one. It's basically been disqualified. <laughs> disqualified by Noctis. The next ball I'll talk about, uh, we got at the same time as the Tommy TP balls and that's the Mother K bottles. Um, that's this one. Mother K is a Korean brand um, I don't know how popular they are, but uh, I just saw them recently um, starting, starting to have the products here in North America um, and they look really pretty, so that's why I decided to get them. As you can see, this is also a PPSU material, so it's pretty uh, uh, durable and lightweight. Um, and also similar to the Hegen bottles, they also have, um, they also have uh, interchangeable tops, which you can use, uh, which you can transform to actually a sippy bottle. Uh, a straw bottle or a uh, storage container as well, I believe. Um, but yeah, this has actually been one of our most used bottles ever since we've gotten it. Uh, the reason is probably because it's very similar to a bunch of uh, another brand of bottles that uh, Noctis likes, and that's the Pigeon ones. And actually on their website uh, or on the packaging, it talks about how you can actually interchange the nipples of this bottle with the pigeon bottles as well as with the I think the wide mouth uh, Dr. Brown Dr. Brown bottles so that's really good because uh, because you don't know which bottles your baby will like right so if you buy the mother key ones you can rest assured that um, you can try at least three different brands of nipples even if your baby doesn't like the, the mother key ones and actually we've um, We've had it where after we washed them, or we've used these both and we washed them, we accidentally interchanged the two nipples, and they both work well on each, like on one another, on one another's bottles. So um, the nipples are basically interchangeable. Um, yeah. The next brand of big bottles I'll talk about are the Medela bottles. Because we use the Medela breast pump, so we use these, uh, we have a bunch of Medela bottles uh, for milk storage. And because of that, I decided to try their, I think it's Camellia <laughs> uh, nipple, just to see, uh, just to give it a go. Uh, this is actually one of the first nipples that we tried with Noctis. Um, and what's unique, you can see that it's a really unique design um, because it really, it's meant to really assimilate um, how milk flows out of a, a mother's teeth or a mother's breast, uh, which is why it's it's got like, it's really uniquely shaped and really uniquely, uniquely designed. Um, but unfortunately Noctis, this is one of the first balls that uh, Noctis rejected, but first nipples that Noctis rejected. And the reason for this is because it was just way too slow. I believe if you are playing on breastfeeding and bottle feeding, then this would be a good nipple so that um, your baby doesn't get nipple confusion. But even when we were primarily um, breastfeeding, we as in Yvonne, um, we tried this nipple with Noctis and he still wouldn't take it because it was way too, it was too slow. So I think maybe because uh, Yvonne had pretty good flow <laughs> of milk coming out. So maybe that's why Noctis got a bit frustrated with using this, uh, this nipple. So he would never take it. Um, I have no idea. There's a lot of parts to, the, to this nipple. Um, as you can see, there's actually quite a few parts to it. So um, it's actually quite cumbersome or at least quite, dif uh, quite difficult to clean. So that's something to consider as well. Um, but if um, nipple confusion is something that you're definitely worried about, then this slow flowing nipple might, might really be good for um, uh, for you. The next brand of baby balls I'll talk about is Pigeon. 
Pigeon is a Japanese brand of baby bottles, um, and they're made in Japan as well. Um, and they are probably the most popular brand in Asia, from what I know. I don't actually have really much to say about these bottles, except that they're really, really solid bottles. And not just solid because they're made of glass, but solid as in all around, they're really good. I think uh, these are Noctis' favorite nipples to latch onto. Um, he really seems to like these ones and the Mother K ones, I guess because they're similar in shape, size and shape. Um, and because they're glass, because we got glass ones for these, they're actually really good at heating up milk and they heat up milk the fastest. Um, so that's also why we love them. They're easy to clean, there's not much uh, unique parts to them. Um, so they're really good all around. Um, and even here in Vancouver, you can see uh, quite a few of those bottles uh, of pigeon balls being resold on Facebook market, which means that there are quite a few people who use them. The only issue that we've had in terms of uh, the pigeon bottles is screwing on the top. Um, sometimes when I'm not looking properly or just doing it really quickly, I'll uh, improperly screw it, uh, screw it on. Um, I'm not sure if the shoe is on really up really well on camera, but basically uh, when this happens and you try and feed your baby, then all the milk will spill out and you, you have wasted a lot of formula or breast milk or whatever. Um, and oddly enough, this has only happened to me and not to Yvonne, so maybe it's just my, <laughs> it's just my issue. Um, and it's actually happened to me a few times. And I think maybe it's because the glass bridges on these ones are not as deep, so it's um, more susceptible for somebody to screw it on improperly. But otherwise, oh, see, I didn't even mean to do it, and <laughs> and it screwed on improperly. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, they're just a really, really good bottle. Um, we've actually already bought the the larger ones uh, for when Noctis um, when Noctis will uh, transition to like uh, when he needs to drink a larger amount of milk. The next brand of beer balls I'll talk about is Komotomo. Uh, Komotomo is actually a uh, Korean brand. I originally thought that they were um, a Western brand just because they're sold in stores like um, Bye Bye Baby or Bed Bath & Beyond or uh, Toys R Us. Um, but no, they're actually a Korean brand. The Komotomos have a really unique shape in that uh, they're more round. Uh, it's, I guess, to mimic the um, the breast uh, of, of a mom, um, as you can see. The nipple is very round or very large, and that makes it also really easy to use if you're uh, using formula, because uh, it's got a really wide mouth to pour it in. Um, our experience with this has been okay. Um, we like the bottle overall. What we don't like about the bottle is its uh, ability to heat up milk. Because it's made of silicon, uh, it, uh, silicon is not a material which really conducts heat very well. So what happens is that if you use the method that we use to heat up milk, your milk will never get warm. Uh, so how we heat up milk if we're using Komotomo is that we actually have to boil water to heat up milk. Um, which is why I say that if you're doing formal feeding, I think this is actually a really, really great bottle. Uh, Noctis really likes this nipple when we feed it to him, but uh, we just don't use this bottle that often because, it, it, uh, like I said, it's very difficult to heat up milk. I will say that because the uh, nipple is really round, um, oops, <laughs> because the nipple is really round, because uh, we feed Noctis in a more upright position, um, that's what they recommend. So when you only have a little bit of milk left, you really have to smush, either lower the angle of uh, the baby or smush it against his nose or uh, his face just so that the milk will drain properly to his mouth. Um, that's just a minor issue. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, yeah, it's a pretty solid, solid bottle, but it just doesn't work for the way we warm up milk. Um, so that's why we don't use it as often. Similar to the Komotomo, the Nano Baby is also also has a really round shape. Uh, Nano Baby is a brand that's also carried um, mostly in North America. Uh, it's got this unique shape that's uh, very similar to um, to a, a breast, um, and I feel that's where the similarities with Komotomo end. 
because I feel like this is a really terrible bottle. <laughs> I hate saying it, but uh, like Noctis, I think Noctis liked the nipple fine. It was all right for him, even though um, even though the issue with feeding him is that uh, because you'll notice that all the bottles have really clear have really, really clear bottoms. So it's really easy to see how much milk you have left. Uh, if you're just like, if you're feeding your baby, it's really easy to tell how much milk you have left, right? You can just look at the back of the bottle or whatever. With this though, because this is a solid color, um, if I'm feeding my baby, I kind of have to look at this, or, but his mouth is already, is already on the nipple. So you can't really tell how much milk is left when there's only a bit left. Uh, or if he's done yet, you just have to kind of listen uh, for whether you can hear that sucking, sucking of air sound. Um, so that's one issue that I have with the Nano Baby. The other issue is that it's just incredibly difficult to close and really easy to leak. So the way this bottom opens is it's just a friction. I, for a while, I thought it was a twist, but it's really just a friction, uh, a friction close, um, and it takes a lot of strength to like to push this in properly in order to make sure that uh, to, in order to make sure that it's closed tightly so that you don't spill any of that milk. And then, and then you have a, uh, these nipples here, um, which is just like a standard nipple. But the issue with this, with the way uh, this is shaped is that, um, let's say you're feeding your baby and he doesn't uh, finish all of his milk. So what we normally do is that, um, so let's say there's 20 uh, milliliters left here. We'll put this in the fridge and then in his next, next feed, we'll just pour this into like the next bottle um, and then uh, f top it up with, uh, with uh, milk from from that's been pumped, right? The issue with this bottle is that because of this really round design, it's incredibly difficult to pour milk out. I don't know why it just spills out everywhere, especially if it's somewhat full because we also tried using it as a milk storage container and that was just horrible. We, I ended up wasting like almost all the milk that was in here because you can't pour it out properly. It just like, it just, it just goes everywhere, especially if it's somewhat full. Um, another issue that I have with this is trying to warm up this milk. Um, so with all the other bottles, they can fit in, we have two different cups, one for taller cups, taller bottles, and one for like shorter bottles, like these ones. This requires a unique, we like a bowl of some sort to warm up the milk. So if you don't have their milk warmer, I think it's pretty hard to warm up the milk. And because of this really unique, weird shape and how th this works, I think it actually kind of floats really oddly. Um, and it's really, it seems like it's really easy to spill the milk. I don't know. From this point, I think you can tell that I really didn't like this bottle. Um, maybe some of you really like it, but uh, personally, this has not worked for us at all. Um, yeah. Moving on, the next baby bottle is Doctor Beta. Uh, is Doctor Beta? Um, they're a Japanese brand. This is actually our second um, Doctor Beta bottle. As you can tell, it has a really nice design. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, what happened to our first <laughs> bottle is that uh, Yvonne, <laughs> not me, Yvonne. I suddenly dropped it and because uh, it was a glass bottle, so it broke. So that's one of the issues with glass I find is that it's heavy. So if it, your baby is holding the ball by himself, it might be difficult to hold. And also it's more fragile than plastic. Um, but with glass, it's more durable. Like there won't be any scratches on it, even if you use it for a long time. And um, for sure there won't be any um, issues in terms of UV and sanitizing even over a long period of time. Um, <clears throat> so you can tell that Dr. Beta has a really unique shape. Uh, this is how you normally feed the baby. Feed the baby. Uh, and 
the, this design, um, they say it's for anti-colic purposes so that you can keep your baby upright. And that's how we normally f feed Noctis is with him relatively upright, not uh, him really low because it's actually a lot better, uh, just like for a normal adult, adult or normal human, um, we eat upright, right? Uh, if we eat lying, laying back, we can't eat for long or like you might want to throw up or it, it's just not good, right? So that's why we keep uh, Noctis relatively upright when we're feeding him. Um, and this ball has been really perfect for that. Uh, we actually noticed that with when, when we're using uh, the Dr. Beta bottles, uh, it's really easy and really quick to uh, burp him. Uh, it takes sometimes as soon as we prop him up when we're done feeding, he'll burp within five seconds without even like patting his uh, his back. Um, and he just burps really well uh, when we're feeding with the Dr. Beta bottles. Uh, the con that I would say with the Dr. Beta bottles is that because of this unique design, uh, we had to get, like I said, the Dr. Beta bottle brushes. Um, the brushes work well with all other bottles. So if you are going to plan on using a Dr. Beta bottle, you should just get the Dr. Beta uh, bottle brush set. Um, and the other issue I found, the other issue of course is the price. These are really, really expensive bottles. Um, I think they're like $50, uh, 50 or $60, depending um, on the one that you get. Uh, this one is like a 20, 20, 2020 Year of the Cow edition or something. Um, it was just a really cool design. That's why we decided to get it. And they come in, um, and I'm not sure if you can tell, this is also a PPSU bottle. So because it's a pre more premium brand of bottle, that's why it's also a premium more premium uh, quality of plastic. Oh. In terms of like, heating up the milk, this is actually really good because uh, it's got a very slim design. So the milk is the milk is spread out over a wide surface area, which makes it really good for heating up milk. Uh, the glass one day we had is probably the ball that heat up milk the quickest, I think, out of all our other bottles. The only con I would say for this bottle is that it's difficult to clean because of its unique design. If you are planning on using a Dr. Beta bottle, uh, you would you should probably get the bottle, uh, the brush set, the Dr. Beta brush set, so that you can uh, clean it properly. Um, and that brush set works with all other bottles. It's just because of this unique shape that you want a, a more thin or more flexible brush. And because of this uh, of this design, uh, it's probably also more difficult to dry when we put it into our uh, sanitizer um, because when it rests in in on the rack, uh, there's still like part of this that's like that's up here. I guess I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a more difficult bottle to dry because of its unique shape. So with that. That's all the balls that we've used. Um, as you can see, like even um, some of the balls that we seem to like more, there were some minor issues um, uh, that you have to deal with. I don't think there's a perfect baby bottle. Um, if I would say what our favorite are, favorite bottles are, uh, for us is that's definitely the Dr. Beta bottles, and then I'll fall closely by the Pigeon and Mother K bottles. Um, we actually treat the, uh, these, the Pigeon and Mother K as kind of like the same brand. Uh, they're all really solid. Um, I would say the Mother K is more flexible because it can grow with your baby. It can become a sippy cup uh, or a straw bottle. Uh, I don't know if you can do that with Pigeon. Maybe you can, uh, can as well. I'm not too sure. Um, but I think if you were to ask me what my favorite brands are, it would be these three brands, three, these three bottle brands. Um, but all are... But some of the other brands like Komotomo and Heijin um, and even Dr. Brown has been uh, really good for us as well. I know there's quite a few uh, popular baby brands that <laughs> we didn't get like uh, Philips, uh, Philips Advent as well as Nook. Um, I think we actually, uh, our, our friends gave us some, uh, some of those um, but in the larger size. So maybe I'll make a video of that um, when Knox transitions over to a larger bottle 
and then we can test those out as well um, to see what works for us and what doesn't. So that's it for this video. Uh, leave a comment down below for any baby bar brands that you like uh, or that have worked or maybe had not worked for you. Uh, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing and sharing this video to other parents as well. Uh, and with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.